Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to measure amps with your circuits. Uh, notice on the screen I have your simulation. Uh, recently you have done simulations and you put in these little amp meters in between. It's the same concept when you're measuring uh, physically with your, uh, with your multimeter. Alright, so before you've uh, learned how to do volts, and you've learned how to do ohms, which is the resistance. Now it's time for the amps. Now amps is really tricky in the fact that if you do, if you hook up the multimeter wrong, if you got it hooked up and then you turn it to where uh, you want to start measuring, it's going to bust your fuse. So you also have to think about how am I going to get this to where it goes without busting my fuse? And then if I did bust my fuse, how do I know that it's busted? So uh, we're going to start off by just building the circuit. So the circuit right here, let's see if you can see it. Let me see if I can kind of zoom in a little bit, if it'll register it. Uh, yeah, you can kind of see that. This one here probably should have been a different color. As you can tell, it's white, but there is actually a wire there. So that's where you can't really tell that I have it connected. But I have the battery coming in here. And then I've got a jumper, and then I've got my uh, resistor, I've got another jumper. I try to put jumpers in between each thing. I've got my switch, I have my diode, and then I've got the uh, negative to my battery. So I push the button, and my light shines. So I know that this is a good circuit. So one of the questions asks me to find the... Uh, amps or the current from the battery. Okay, so let me try to kind of get it to where you can see what I'm doing. Now before I hook it up I need to set it so that when I turn this, see how when I'm turning this it goes through the 200 micro amps. If I have this connected to my circuit it will bust my fuse. So I don't have it connected to the circuit yet, and I'm going to turn it on to the 200 milliamps. Now, the fuses still get busted sometimes, so uh, if it gets busted, I'll show you how to, or Mrs. Kremzik, if you're in Mrs. Kremzik class, will show you how to change the fuse. Um, or if we're not in class and there's a sub, basically this right here is a case, just like your cell phone. All right, it pops right off. Let me turn it off first. It pops right off. You unscrew these from the back, just like you're changing a battery. When you open it up, there's a little fuse in it. Make sure you throw away the fuse because you can't tell that it's been busted. It doesn't turn black like most fuses do. Pull it out, put the new one in, and then screw it back in, and the case just pops right back on. Okay, so I'm gonna zoom this back in real quick. And again, here's my circuit and my multimeter. I'm going to turn it to the 200 microamps first. Now, if it's from the battery, I'm just going to replace the jumper wire. So I'm going to pull the jumper wire out. And this one here is my red. Okay, so see how it's connected to the red one. So I've got a little wire on the end of my alligator clips so that I can just put the wire in right next to red. Okay, so I've got the wire goes in right here, right next to it. And I am forcing, what, what I'm doing here is I am forcing my uh, current to go through my amp meter. If it doesn't go actually through it, it's not going to measure it correctly. So I have to actually force it to go through. Now I've got the connection to the black wire because it goes on second. Okay, see how I have a little wire on it as well, one of the little jumper wires. And I'm going to put it in next to the resistor so that I can complete my circuit. All right, if I push it's on 200 milliamps. If I push the button, notice it tells me it's 19.8. Okay, light lights up. Now at this point right here, 
if nothing happened, if it stayed at zero and this light didn't light up, I would know that my fuse was broke. So I tested it. I knew it worked. I put these in place of my jumpers exactly where I pulled that jumper wire out and then push the button. If that didn't light up, I would know that my fuse was busted and I would have to go change it. So I push the button and I see it goes to 19.8. It is less than 20. So I can go ahead and turn it to 20 because this one measures up to two. This one measures up to 20. This one measures up to 200. Okay, so since it's 19.8, I can go ahead and measure it on the 20 and get more significant figures. So I'm going to push the button and it tells me 19.32. I'm going to hit that hold button so I can let it go and I can go ahead and then grab my pen to write down 19.32. Now that is 19.32 milliamps. So if I wanted it in amps, I would move my decimal three places to the left. All right, so that would be 0 0.01932 amps. Okay, so just read through and whenever it wants you to say like over here, see how it's in between the diodes. Instead of the jumper wire between those diodes, you would put these connections in and you're gonna force that current to go through your multimeter. All right, so now I'm not going to turn it off by switching it to the off. Again, it would go through that 200 microamps and it would bust my fuse. So instead, I'm going to pull these out first, right? Hit the hold button so it makes it back to zero. And then I can turn it back to off or turn it to volts or um, ohms. All right, so hopefully that helps. Um, I guess like Mrs. Kremzik says, happy breadboarding.